Hello, dears, and welcome to Al Husseini Virtual Lab Pathology Talks Tips and Practical Tips. What I'm going to share with you today is a very rare but important, really, tip that you might encounter during your uh, daily practice and that has important implication on the management of the patient. This is herpes simplex virus hepatitis in immune-compromised individuals, in this in, uh, instance, a patient with ALL. So this is a two-and-a-half-year-old male patient who was was diagnosed with the pre-BALL, however, he was in remission. He presented to the hospital with fever and elevated liver enzyme. And as you can see from the low power magnification of the liver, a true cut biopsy, there is architectural disarray, which means that there is an acute injury happening uh, in the liver. There are areas of necrosis, fatty changes, massive fatty changes, and then inflammatory infiltrate. Now on high power, our magnification. Again, we have the areas of necrosis, the fatty changes in the hepatocytes, but then some of the nuclei contain this smudged chromatin. Another focus with areas of necrosis, a binucleate hepatocyte with a chromatin margination, um, uh, as well as a smudging of the chromatin within the in nucleus. Really important clues to the possibility of herpes simplex viral infection. This is similar really to what we see, for example, with HSV infection in the skin or in the esophagus. Rarely encountered or perhaps rarely biopsied in other locations like the liver, but once you see those important clues, it should really bring the possibility of HSV infection into the differential diagnosis. And remember that we have an immunohistochemistry that can be utilized and this is the low power magnification, massive uh, amount of positivity, meaning that the hepatocytes are infected and on high power magnification, the nuclei stain, the strong brown staining, indicating that these are positive, localizing the HSV infection into the nucleus as was actually seen in the H and E. So this is the H and E stain with the binucleation, the margination and the smudging of the chromatin. And this is the immunohistochemistry the chemistry with the positive nuclear staining supporting the diagnosis of HSV infection in the liver. So the final diagnosis in this case was HSV hepatitis. Now remember, this could have important implication on the management of the patient because once the patient is started on antiviral treatment, there is a good chance for complete recovery. Now this case and another case where we reported a few years back, and you can find the link to the publication in the caption of the video. I hope you find this tip useful in your daily practice. Thank you.